but we are going to release this to the world in a few days time. And oh, we are so shit. excited. <laughs> Today, we are one week from the release of Now or Nowhere. I feel really excited, I guess, to a point where I'm oversaturated and I don't feel very much, but the day that it drops, I feel like I'm gonna go deaf for a second. Just like the world is finally gonna get to hear this thing that we've had in our back pocket for like two years. The last time we released a record was a while ago. I don't even remember what, what we did then, but I'm sure we were on tour and I'm sure we played shows. So it's very different. Wow, so yeah, seven weeks ago, we got together right here at Grandma's house, our headquarters, and we announced that we're gonna release this album, really not knowing anything about the future. We had dreams and expectations, but in reality, we really didn't know what to expect. I'm really excited to hear what people think of the, the album as a whole because that was our goal, you know, make an album, make, make a full album, not an EP, eight songs or more. And now the nine songs that we put together of several dozens. We wrote the music, worked on it in the rehearsal space, went into the studio, recorded it, performed our hearts out, built a record, built the album artwork, created the packaging, built a plan to release it, and next week it's basically done. First single is called This Is Who We Are Now. The album is gonna drop on May 7th, and you can already pre-order copies on the Amazon website. Yeah, so we are so excited to be releasing it. We are so excited. This is who we are now. Holy shit, did I not expect things to turn out the way they turned out? We had some sort of a, of a plan that obviously fell apart, but on the, on the other side, a lot of things that we didn't expect at all happened like all the love that we're getting in the UK, for example. I mean, who would have thought, you know? It's like within a few days of its release, we, uh, we got added to one of the biggest radio stations in, in England. The damn truth, this is who we are now, got added to the A-list of Planet Rocks. No fucking way! And we get, oh! now we get played four times a day, oh! like Babies a fucking Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters, baby! Yeah. Woo! Hell yeah! And since then, it's just been like that domino effect you only hear about. It's just crazy. But so far with the release of This Is Who We Are Now, we've been really, really, really excited. I've been really happy. I've been really surprised. You know, people are loving the song. The song is traveling all over the world. Today is really, really, really exciting. We announced a tour going to the UK in February with a cool band called King King. We're gonna rock out and probably act crazy. I have a lot of expectations because I think this album kicks ass. <laughs> I've been loving listening to it. I'm very proud of us and very, very proud of what we did and how it sounds and proud of the journey that it took us on to get to where we are right now. Oh, it's so amazing. And my favorite song on the record is Shottam. What do you like about that song? Because it says, oh no, Shottam dead again. That's the part that I really, really like. Guys, it's up to you now. We want more than anything in the world to play these songs for you. Help us spread the word, spread this record everywhere because we want to come to you. As soon as everything opens up, we're going everywhere, so. Tell your friends, stream the song, watch the video, buy the record if you can. But most importantly, tell the people that don't know about us that we're here, people that might be interested. I'll tell my friends about the damn truth and this is really cool. You're gonna hear it and you're gonna freak out. And I know you're gonna want to tell it. We are so, so excited to have this music, you know, in your hands and it's coming.